Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here, and in today's quick tip, we're going to be installing the enhanced ejector rod uh, from Samson. And this fits the Ruger Wranglers and the Ruger Single Sixes. And when you think of Samson, you probably don't think single action accessories, um, but they make this one for it. So I haven't even taken a like a real detailed look at this thing yet. So we're going to experience it together. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bust open the packaging. And I assume I can just pull it off. Nope, it's still sealed. Bear with me. So we'll just cut this open here and slide it out. So this one is a bullseye style and that basically just refers to the actual latch itself. And I should also state, if you don't know what the ejector rod is on this thing, um, it's this piece right here that you use to eject the, uh, the rounds from the firearm. See, it goes right through there and ejects them. All right, so another question is why would, why the heck would you need to change this or upgrade it? Um, honestly, you don't. It's all personal preference. But as you can see, there is a size difference on the actual lever itself. And I'll show you that a little bit closer whenever we get the old one out. Um, so first thing we're going to do is take the firearm. Of course, make sure it is indeed unloaded. And uh, then from there, we can go ahead and get started. All right. What we're going to need, well, actually first, whenever you receive it, it has this little rubber protector on the end. You will need to pull that off just like so. All right, I'll just take our fix-it sticks. All we're gonna need is a screwdriver. And I keep a Brownells driver in there because it fits all these bits. All right, and we'll just grab a slotted screwdriver and we will insert it right in the front of the ejector rod housing and unscrew it. This one is a little tight here. Just be careful with it. Make sure you're not gonna tear up anything. Looks like they do put a little bit of Loctite on here or some sort of thread locker, I should say. All right, now you wanna hold your ejector rod housing because there is a spring in there. Hold, so if, as you can see, I'm holding it tight to the barrel. I'm just gonna pull that screw the rest of the way out. Yeah, look at all that Loctite on there, you can see it. All right, and then now we can just remove our ejector rod and housing and spring. It all comes off just like that. Now, if you flip it upside down, or close to upside down, you can see there's a channel that goes all the way back. You literally just slide everything out just like so. Then you can take the spring off. And as promised, I'm going to show you the up close difference between the actual uh, levers there. This is the factory smaller one and this is the Samson target one. All right so we'll just take this old one set it out the way and what I'm going to do real quick here is just clean up this screw a little bit before we put it back in and if you want let me grab a rack here if you want you can reapply a little bit of Loctite on there once you cleaned it up. Uh, for what we're doing right now we're not going to I'm just going to Twerk it down nice and good. I'm not going to put any more Loctite on there. But we want to get most of this dried Loctite off of there. All right. So now you can take your new ejector rod and your spring. And if you notice, one end of your spring is flared. All right. That's going to face towards the gun. The smaller end of the spring is going to slide on your ejector rod. Just like that. Now you insert the rod and the spring into the housing through the slot. All right, now if you look at the front of your frame, there's a shoulder on your ejector rod that's gonna go into that frame, but you also have to compress the spring, right? So we're gonna set them on there, push it in, just like that, and hold it against the barrel. Then we can take our screw, drop it back in that hole, take our screwdriver, 
to drive said screw. And tighten it down nice and snug. All right, and that's all there is to it. We can test it out real quick here. Just open your loading gate and run the rod down. All right, and it works great. And that's noticeably larger, nice and easy to grab there. Um, so honestly, a, you know, a, a, a good worthwhile upgrade in my opinion. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, uh, you're watching this on YouTube, feel free to post them down below. If you need help with anything, as always, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.